Hello everyone, now I'll tell you how to interface your mobile device camera and other sensors with MATLAB. So there are different methods available which ask you to install a third party app on your mobile device and use your mobile device camera but according to me that's not pretty safe as for your privacy. So the MATLAB provides you a hardware toolbox by using which you can directly interface your mobile device camera and other sensors with it. So to begin with all you have to do is open your MATLAB and just go to the add-ons. Now when you click on this, now click on get hardware support packages. Now the moment you click on get hardware support packages you'll get all the pack like hardware support packages which are available there like for Arduino boards, Raspberry Pi and all a lot of hardware. Uh, so it comes for Android devices, iOS devices and everything. So as you can see here like you can support and there's a support package for USB webcams, even a support package for this Arduino sensors, simple webcams. So all these hardware support packages are available here. Now the one we are concerned about is Simulink support package for Android devices. Now when you click on it, it will ask you to install. So I have already installed, so it's showing manage. So instead of manage, it will be showing you install. And also one more thing, this package is only created with like MATLAB version 2014A and it's compatible with 2014A to 2018B. So make sure you have a MATLAB version between this range so when you click manage or after it's installed you you don't have to so once it's installed it will throw up a hardware setup uh, device pop-up so and also you can set it up later on by using the following command android hw setup so when you Put it in the command window and press enter this window will pop up which is a hardware setup now what you have to do is first it will tell you all the steps so first you have to download the android studio now when you click on the uh, this particular link get android studio it will open the web page of the android studio home page from which you can download it and install it now once it has like download it from here now once it's installed, it will tell you to define the path where your Android Studio is installed. So by default, the path will be like displayed here and all you have to click is just verify. And once it gets verified, you have to click on next. Now the moment you click on next, it will ask you to open the Android Studio from here. And within the Android Studio, you have to make sure that you have installed all the SDK platform packages and tools over there. Now once you click there, your Android Studio will open and if you don't have a existing SDK on your system, then it will say no Android SDK found. So click next on this button and you'll get the available choices which are here. Click next and it will show you the download size and it will start downloading. So once it gets downloaded, we can click on finish. So once you click on finish, it will start downloading all the packages. So you can see in the details also. So once it gets downloaded and installed, you need to click on finish. Now again, you open this hardware setup uh, window and you need to again verify the setup so this location is already like it will be mentioned by itself so you just have to click verify setup and it will verify your setup so now it's throwing up a warning that it hasn't been installed so all you have to do is the pop up window will open click on configure it's taking some time.
Click on the configure. Select SDK manager and just allow it to open. Now on this select the latest Android package, Android SDK package and in the SDK tools select the following Android SDK build tools, Android emulator, Android SDK tools, platform tools also NDK and support repository Google repository and I guess everything is selected now just click OK oh wait where did I go no now just click on apply It's downloading. So you have to download and install the NDK package. So it will take a few seconds, I guess. And once it's installed, just click finish. Apply again. All good. Okay. Now again on this window, we're going to click retry. I just hope it works this time. You got to wait for a while. So here we go, it's verified. Now click next. Now the next screen will be something like this. Now the next steps are you have to go to your Android phone. Android device, click on settings, then about device, then look for the build number. Now if you don't find a build number, uh, I'm using a MI mobile device in which on clicking MI UI version option 7 times works. So now click next over here. Now again you have to go to settings and go to the developers option. If you don't find developers option in the main uh, setting screen uh, just go to the additional settings and there you'll find the developers option now look for usb debugging just tick mark the usb debugging it will ask you a pop-up will ask that you want to allow usb debugging or not now let's click here now it will ask you which device you are using so I am using a MI device so I will click on a different device and then you need to download a appropriate driver for your device from this following link so just click on it so here you will find the list of the OEMs which manufacture the mobile phones so just find your phone so here we go Xiaomi so just download the driver and it's downloading and install it now once you have downloaded your uh, OEM driver for your mobile phone then you need to go to the device manager and find your device just right click it click on update driver and browse my computer for the driver software now just locate the file or the folder which you have downloaded so this is the USB driver folder which I downloaded just select it and click on next now here it will show 
the driver and it's showing that it's already installed so it's pretty cool now the next step will be just click mark this i have installed the appropriate android device driver on my computer and click on next now connect your device with the usb and just click on always allow for this computer and then just click next now click on refresh if your android device is not displayed so here's my device which is displayed click on next now now connect both the devices to the same wi-fi network and keep your device unlocked and as this step says and click on next now to verify the installation it will take some time so have patience now there's one more option on a device which you need to select that is allow install using the usb which you will find in the developer options just scroll down the screen you will find that so this is some error which i'm getting now there is one thing wrong with this ndk version so what all you have to do is you need to download a android fix underscore 18 b zip so if you are using a 18a or 18b then you need to download the files accordingly uh, i have provided uh, this link in the description so just check it now extract that folder and just navigate through that android fix now what you have to do is just run this dot m5 so i need to make it run with the mac app Now after you open it, just click on run. So just add to cart and just run the file. So now just run this file and now retry again. So where is it? Just click on retry. So it's building the app again. Now in the next step when it comes to run app you will get a pop up notification on your android device which will ask you to install this. So you have to click on install and allow it. So once we are done with the setup then we can run it directly. So at first we will run with this example which is present there so all you have to type is open example and the name of the example and just press enter so this simulink model will open up in front of you so as you can see that this android camera which is taking the inputs from the android camera sensor and this is transferring these rgb values to the android video display so when the moment you click on deploy to hardware it will upload an apk to your mobile device which will taking the input from the android camera or your mobile camera and will be displaying it on the video uh, like on your mobile screen so similarly instead of this video display which is for the android you can replace it with your uh, monitor display here so to look look up all the libraries which are available here so all you have to type in is sl library browser so the moment you click it all the libraries which are present in your simulink uh, they'll open up so suppose you want to try with some okay this is our android library so the moment you click on it you'll get all the uh, packages which are available so this is the audio and video package 
so you can take input from your mobile's microphone and you can process it with like you can write your own algorithms whatever processing you want to done and here's the camera here's the speaker output which can produce output so this tool is pretty handy suppose if you want to run some algorithms or like some signal processing algorithms on a mobile device so all you have to do is take the input from the audio capture put a block of your algorithm in front of this which will take the input from this audio capture and display your output using the video display so this is something pretty cool now yes we were talking about how to display on your monitor also so to display all these on monitors all you need is video display just search video display and all the libraries named as video display will be in front of you so now you can see that we have two video display consoles present here so all we will do is just drag this one and drop it on our simulink screen now as you can see that there is just one single input so you can change this input to rgb values like we want three inputs so all you have to do is just double click this so in this you can see the image signal uh, currently it's one dimensional signal so we just separate the colors click on apply okay now you can see the rgb values so what we'll do is we'll take the input from here how about we delete this first and placing these inputs to r sorry g and b so we are good to go now the moment we click on deploy to hardware now this will first generate a code and it will upload to your mobile device now whatever the android camera will be capturing it will be displayed to your video display over here so this takes some time to get your code uploaded and you'll see a new android app will be installed on your mobile phone automatically because we are in the debugging mode so once it's done then you open the app whatever the video stream will be coming from the mobile camera will be displayed onto your screen so we'll be looking on to more um, such examples and more processing signal processing maybe or audio signal processing in the coming examples we'll try to implement some algorithms to process the data coming from the mobile sensor and will try to process them on the mobile itself so looking forward to upload more videos on this if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and also if you have any doubts like you get stuck somewhere so please don't hesitate to comment below i'll be happy to help thank you so much